during this lockdown season. There is one such vegetable or call it a fruit that has been versatile. We have used every part of this vegetable and fruit and prepared hundreds of variety of recipes. I am talking about jackfruit. We Malayalis call it as chakka. Chakka is in season and we have tried a variety of savory recipes and sweet recipes. But have you ever tried jackfruit popsicles? High fiber, three ingredients, five minutes, no sugar, no cream, no milk. This is absolute clean eating and it has benefits for everyone and also it's good for the diabetic patient. Before we start the recipe, let me remind you, if you are watching my channel for the first time, do click on like and subscribe button so that you will be notified of all my future uploads. Before the jackfruit season ends, do try out this jackfruit popsicle. You will definitely love it. Here I have around 500 grams of ripe jackfruit and the arils are perfectly ripe and it's vibrant yellow color without any dark patches. With this, I can make around 5 to 6 popsicles. Cutting the jackfruit is really a messy job. Jackfruit excretes an extremely sticky lactex and this makes the cutting process messy and really difficult. Here's a trick. Apply generous amount of oil on your hands and knife in order to avoid the gum sticking. The core is inedible, therefore cut it off. If there is excess gum oozing out of the fruit, clean it using a paper towel. Bend back the rind, spreading the internal threads. Now the edible portion will loosen up and now firmly grasp and twist the arils. Of course, I don't need the seeds for making popsicles. I will reserve them to make some vegetables or some curry. Another way to remove the fruit arils is to just cut their base away from the rind. This process will make the jackfruit seeds visible. Whichever method you feel, just do it. There are a lot of fibers present around the fruit. I don't need them for the popsicles. Cutting and cleaning the jackfruit arils is a tedious job. Back home, it used to be as a family affair. Me, the house helper and my mom, we all used to sit together and do the cutting and cleaning. Ah, finally done with the cleaning. Roughly chop the jackfruit into chunks. If you wish, you can avoid this step. But for better grinding and better texture, I would recommend that the jackfruits be roughly chopped. If you do not have fresh jackfruits, no worries, you can still use the tinned jackfruit for making these popsicles. Spread out the pieces so that each piece can be freezed perfectly. To make the popsicle dense and creamier, here I am taking two medium sized bananas and slicing them. Too much of jackfruit will not taste good, so hence I am mixing with bananas. I will freeze it along with the jackfruit for at least 2 hours. So this recipe is as long as you have some frozen fruit in your hand, you can whip this popsicle in just 5 minutes. Each piece has frozen. And now it's time to blend them immediately. Blend them until you get a completely smooth paste. I'm adding a pinch of salt just to enhance the sweetness. The jackfruit paste is ready to pour into the popsicle molds and to freeze them. Look at that luscious, thick, consistency. I like these silicone molds because they are dishwasher safe and super easy to unmold the popsicles. Place the ice cream bar molds on a flat surface to ensure the molds are evenly filled. Fill the popsicle molds with a jackfruit mixture. Tap the mold so that you can release any air pockets. And now, carefully insert the popsicle sticks.
If required, you can cover with foil or plastic wrap and allow it to freeze for 6 to 7 hours. I am just going to keep it open in the freezer. Let's prepare the magical shell. For the shell, I have taken 3 fourth cup dark chocolate. You can also use white chocolate instead, but I like the contrast of jackfruit and the dark chocolate. Melt the chocolate in microwave or follow the double boiler method as I am doing. Place the chocolate bowl over a pot filled with water. Make sure the bowl does not touch the water. Melt the chocolate gently on a low flame stirring often to make sure the heat is evenly spread. Add 1 tablespoon of milk, 1 tablespoon of ghee, mix well until the chocolate chips is melted and the sauce becomes glossy. If you are not a chocolate lover, you can avoid this magic shell step. This is completely optional. I am doing this for the kid in me and for my kids and for a better photography visual. The sauce is ready and while this cools and comes to room temperature, let me check on the popsicles. To unmold, simply peel back the silicone mold. When the frozen ice cream is dipped into the melted chocolate, the ghee or the butter solidifies and hardens, thus creating the nice chocolate magic shell. Magic shell hardens fairly quick. This is done. Now let's unmold the rest of the popsicles and dip into the chocolate. Drizzle some more chocolate sauce and finally garnish with some edible pearls and flowers. You will need to work fast to add toppings to make sure they stick to the chocolate. Can anyone say that I have made this with jackfruit and this is a jackfruit popsicle? Now you can make this restaurant style jackfruit popsicles or magic shell jackfruit popsicle right at your home in just 5 minutes, 3 ingredients, clean eating, fiber loaded popsicle, healthy recipe for your family. If you like this recipe, do give a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to leave your valuable comments and I will respond to you soon. Thank you for watching and see you soon with another interesting recipe. I can't resist it. I just need to hog on to this. Yum!